The next step is to create a nice V-line in the front. To secure the line, we use another soft tie. But this time, it is called a munahimo, literally a chest tie. This one does not have to be tied tightly. Place the middle of the soft tie, munahimo, at the front and wrap it around you. Tie it right under the bust. Once again, avoid placing the bow tie at the center. Tuck in the ends of the bow. Smooth out the wrinkles in the back. Please see how you can move your fingers from the center to both sides. The extra part on either side can be smoothed, folded over and tucked in and covered by both sides of the front panels. Let's tie a flat belt, a date jime, over the soft tie, the munahimo, to secure it. There are several types, usually a Velcro or a silk sash type, and either kind will work fine. If you are using the sash type like this one that crosses in the back, you can tidy up the crossed area in the back by tucking up the folds. Tie it in the front and make it neat. Make sure the front collar has a nice V-line to look your best. Now you're almost done. All you need to do is tie an obi. Here you see two types. The han haba obi is worn over a yukata or casual kimono. The name literally means half-width obi and it's worn without folding. The standard obi is wider and you need to fold it. Now we will learn to tie a bunko bow. It's the most popular obi tie for yukata. The bow can be made in front and moved to the back when it's done. It's easy. The two ends of the obi are called the tesaki and tare. We will say starter and end piece. Measure the folded obi by spreading two hands from the starter to a place where you will make a fold. Put the folded obi section on your body and start to wrap the obi around your waist. Hold the starter part firmly in front and pull the obi from around the back forward with your right hand each time the obi comes to the right front. Always hold the bottom part of the obi when you pull it. Wrap the obi twice around your waist. Pull out the starter part from inside. Hold it firmly and pull the wrapping part so you can feel the obi is wrapped tightly. Now fold the starter that you have pulled out like this and let it rest there. Next, fold up the tare or end piece from the bottom outward at a diagonal like this Now for the tie. Place the starter over the end piece, adjusting it as necessary, and tie it once. Pull it in both directions, keeping the two sides folded. Now, fold up and tuck in the starter part in the collar to use later. Use the remaining end piece part to make the wings of the bow. Smooth it in the opposite direction of the knot you made, backside out and fold it into concertinas. Make it about as wide as your shoulders. Keep it flat and move your hands to the middle. Pinch it and neatly arrange the bottom and top in folds at the pinched center.
Moving the starter piece forward in space, wrap it over the center of the pinched folds. Pass it under the pinched folds, then pull it up through the back. If you have extra starter piece remaining, you can wrap it around twice. The remaining starter section should now be tucked in between the obi and date jime belt. There might be extra, which you can tuck in like this. Fold up both wings like this, smooth them, then turn the ends down. Like this. Now you've made a bunko musubi. Let's move it where it belongs, in the back. This way, please. You should slide it toward the outer edge of the front panel. Otherwise, you might open up your neckline.